When we multiply polynomials, there's two ways that we can go about this. It can be something similar to FOIL, where we just distribute each term to each term in the second parentheses, or we can use something called our box method of multiplying. It has nothing to do with the box method of factoring. They are two different things. First, I'm going to show you how to use the distribution method. So when you use the distribution method, each term in the first set of parentheses will go to each term in the second set of parentheses. So if I start with the 2x, I'm going to take the 2x and I'm going to multiply it to the first term of 3x squared to give me a 6x to the third. Then that 2x will go to the second term of x to give me a positive 2x squared. Lastly, the 2x will go to the last term of negative 4 to give me a negative 8x. Now that the first term has gone to everything in the second set of parentheses, I go to the 7 and I'm going to do the same thing to all three terms. So 7 times 3x squared will give me a positive 21 x squared. Then I do 7 times x to give me a positive 7x. And then positive 7 times a negative 4 to give me a negative 28. The last thing we need to do is put this in standard form and combine our like terms. So I'm going to start with the highest degree term of 6x to the third. Then I can combine my like terms of 2x squared and 21x squared give me a positive 23x squared. Then I can combine my like terms of negative 8x and a positive 7x to give me a negative 1x. And then I'll have my negative 28 at the end. So if you wanted to use the box method when multiplying, you would need to create enough rows and enough columns to accommodate. Since I have two terms in my first set and three terms in my second set, I'm going to create a two by three box. So I'm going to have two rows and three columns. The 2x plus 7 will go down the side and each term gets its own box. So 2x and then 7. And then the 3x squared plus x minus 4 will go along the top. So they get their own column as well. So what you're creating is a multiplication table. So what crosses in each box is what you will multiply. So if I start with my first box at the top, I'm going to take 2x times 3x squared to give me 6x to the third. Then I'm going to continue across the top to the second box, so 2x times x would give me a 2x squared. Then I'm going to take 2x times negative 4 to give me a negative 8x. Then I can go to the second row and do 7 times 3x squared to give me 21x squared. Then I can do 7 times x to give me a 7x. And then I can do 7 times negative 8 to give me a negative 28. The box is very helpful because it keeps your terms organized and you can see all of the signs. Now you can still combine all of your like terms and put this in standard form. So your highest degree term is the 6x to the third. Then you have your 2x squared terms to give you a positive 23x squared. Then you have your 2x term to give you a negative x. And then you have your minus 28. So we got the same answer in both methods, but those are two different ways to accomplish the same task. In our second example, it's something that is a little different. I have x subtract 3 quantity to the third power. That exponent of 3 tells me that there's going to be 3 x subtract 3s. So I'm going to write out two more, so that way with the original problem, I have a total of three sets of parentheses. So the way that I want to approach this is by looking at the first two sets of parentheses. So I'm going to ignore the last x subtract 3. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to FOIL. So I'm going to take x times x to give me an x squared. Then I'm going to take x times a negative 3 to give me a negative 3x. 
Then I'm going to take a negative 3 times x to give me another negative 3x. Then I'm going to take negative 3 times a negative 3 to give me a positive 9. And I still have that x minus 3 that I haven't done anything with yet. Before I multiply these two sets of parentheses, I'm going to combine my like terms in the first set of negative 3 minus 3. So I have x squared subtract 6x plus 9. And now I can multiply with our last x subtract 3. So here you can either go through and do your distribution method or you can do the box method to multiply. Regardless which method you took to multiply, you should arrive at the answer x to the third, subtract 9x squared, plus 27x, subtract 27.